<laughs> Good morning, Marble Squad, and welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. As usual, we get up, we walk from the bedroom to the bathroom to start our day. But today we wanted to introduce the toothbrush that we've been recently falling in love with, the Lifen toothbrush. We generally don't recommend products, but this toothbrush is exceptionally good. We regret not discovering this sooner and we highly recommend it to you guys. So this has a 60 degree sweeping vibration. Look at it just move. That's crazy. <laughs> the Life in Toothbrush is different from any other toothbrush we've ever used before. As you can see, it literally oscillates back and forth to deeply clean your teeth, which aligns with the base brushing technique and mimics the actual dentist recommended brushing method, which also makes your toothbrush way healthier. It'll get into your gums, get into your teeth, get into them cracks and crevices. <laughs> we will split the screen to show you the different vibration effects of the Life in Toothbrush and our previous toothbrush in water. So what y'all are seeing, the left side of the screen is our old toothbrush, the one that we used to use for years until we found the life in one, which is on the right side of the screen. You can just see by the water movement how much deeper it gets in the clean if you were using this on your teeth. Every time we use the life in toothbrush, we never have to worry about missing any spots. It completely frees up my hand. All I have to do is hold the toothbrush and it thoroughly cleans effortlessly. The life in toothbrush has different replaceable brush heads and the brush head prices are very affordable, $9.99 for three packs and $16.99 for six packs. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And it makes me not feel bad for replacing my toothbrush head every month. So for me, I really like the toothbrush head that has the gray bristles on it, like this one. And this is specifically for gum care and it has really soft bristles. Now here we'll split the screen to now show the bristles between the Life and Toothbrush and our previous toothbrush. And before you say a toothbrush can't get any better, it also has a customizable app that accommodates your brushing habits. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could change your vibration strength, your oscillating range, or your oscillating speed. There are literally a total of a thousand plus combinations to fit all your needs of brushing. It's fast charging, way faster than other brands that take up to 24 hours to charge, and it lasts up to 45 days That's on a full charge. That's crazy. That is insane. You can also put this on flight mode. All you have to do is hold it down for two seconds seconds and it'll go into the flight mode so it won't sick. turn on. We really love the life in toothbrush. Come on, it also makes a really cute decoration for the bathroom. Just sitting on the counter. Look it looks at how like pretty. A piece of this artwork. is such our vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can click the link in our description right now to get the exact same one. It also makes a really good gift for your family Ooh. and friends. So don't miss out. Go click that link <laughs> in the description and let's all match toothbrushes. Let's go. <laughs> now that our teeth are extra squeaky clean today, we are going to get into this Q and and A! Oh, yeah. Today. Today. Q&A. Today. Q&A &A with, with me and my baby. Okay. She gonna listen to what I say. Hip hip hooray. Okay, all right. Hey. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. I was feeling myself there. Um, but today we're gonna be doing a house update Q&A, giving you guys all the tea. We told you guys you're gonna be along the whole process, the whole journey. And I feel like there's a lot we have talked to you guys about. You know, if you don't follow us on Snapchat, Snapchat is where we post like all the ins and the outs. But for the people who don't follow us on Snapchat, we wanna give you guys an update and tell you everything that's going on. The there's good, a lot of exciting things. The bad and the ugly. Which there's really no ugly. There's no ugly yet. Well, there is one thing that's ugly. It's the dirt that's on our property. That's not yet built on. I think dirt's beautiful though, right? It's not even dirt yet. It's still got grass. Oh, you know, it's grass. Okay, so it's still beautiful. We have no ugly bumps yeah. at this time. The story. <laughs> our <laughs> land is waiting for it to be built on. So, so what should we start off with though? Like, I want to make this juicy. I want to give them all the ends that's okay. going on. That's been going on. Okay, so let's start off because this is the topic of the question. Wait, I don't even know what's the topic. When is the house gonna be built? Oh yeah. When is the process gonna start? What is going on with it so far? Yeah, what are y'all doing? Yeah. You said you were gonna build a home. It's not done yet. Where's the home getting built? Yeah. <laughs> so that was like the number one question is all of that. So as of right now, we are gonna go over all the selections that we chose with you guys too, because that's super exciting. We're really excited to show you guys what we did and picked out. But we did our selections, we did everything. Right now, they are in the process of permitting. We are in permitting! Which is good, okay? I'm gonna break down permitting really quick. Permitting basically means that we have the house plan. Everything is ready. Everything is set, okay? They see what the walls are gonna look like. They see what the foundation is gonna look like. What the roof is gonna look like. Everything, the balcony, the pool. They send those plans into the city. The city has to approve them, has to approve them because all the plans have to go with code, yeah. okay? To be safe for hurricanes, to be habitable. 
okay? To be energy efficient. I sound good. I sound like I've been building a house. But basically, permitting means that we're waiting for the city to go, you're good to build the house. Start it. And that takes up to eight weeks. So exactly. this is our estimate on when we think they're gonna break ground. We could be totally wrong, but it's gonna for sure be this year. Mm -hmm. We're thinking that, cause they're gonna be giving us a date very, very, very soon. In a couple weeks, we'll, we'll know an exact date when they're gonna break ground. Yes. Our estimated on when we think it'll be starting is August. around the end of August, say August. September. I'd say August. August, could even be sooner. I would hope for August because they said last week that we were probably eight weeks out. Yeah, cause it so says seven six weeks. to eight, but they say six to eight weeks. It, it depends on how fast the permitting system I would say goes. hopefully by the end of August then. By the end of August, hopefully, maybe even sooner. That means the plans get approved and by then, there's gonna be dirt delivered to our property. They're gonna That's be putting in the foundation. The yeah, so I'd say the first month is when they're actually gonna go start crazy, which would be September, October, when the, I bet you October, foundation's gonna be in. We're gonna be able to film and bring you guys while walking around and show you the actual in-person layout of the so, ground yeah. of our house, like the, the concrete part. So the next two months might be a little like, okay, what's going on? But mm. that is why we're going, there, it's a process. Trust me, we are antsy. That is okay? why. As antsy as y'all. That is why we first about here, we wanted to build. Then we heard all the, how long the process actually is. We're like, okay, we don't have time for that. So we waited. And honestly, I'm really glad we did it that way because now we know exactly what we want. The only unfortunate part is if we did build this house like a year, two, three years ago, it would have probably been like $100,000 cheaper because I don't know if y'all knew, but the oh economy, everything's going up in price. Building material is so expensive and labor has gotten more expensive mm -hmm. that it just, everything's a little more expensive. So it does stink that we did wait, but I feel like we're still in such a perfect, I would not have done life any differently. No, because now we know exactly it. what we want in a house, yeah. which goes to the next topic. What is your theme? What are you guys going for? How many square foot is it gonna be? What What's your style home? Yeah. What is it gonna look like? Cause everything's finalized. Like we literally know exactly what the outside of the house can look like, our colors. We know the inside of our house, the colors, everything. I say we down. just start with the outside of the house colors. Okay. So right now we're gonna pop up a picture that this is not what our outside house is going to look like as the house. This is a different property, but this is the same it's color look theme. very similar. No, it's gonna be a little, it's a different, Stop house. Yeah, because it's but been looking the colors. Bigger. Okay, so look at the look at the walls. Look at the doors, look at the garage doors, look at the roof. Right here. Basically all gonna be about the same thing. The charcoal roof, we got the little white of a house. Yes. Right? We got the black doors. I know this picture is brown. I think our garage doors are gonna be black. Our garage doors. They're gonna match black. the soffits. Everything's yeah. gonna be black. Uh, we're gonna have nice lights on the front pillars of the house and we're gonna have three slit windows for the office and oh, a big picture window so for freaking. the kitchen. Good. Oh, but that's basically, and the same driveway. Our driveway is gonna be the same white, gray stone look yeah. thing. It's, it's beautiful. It's gonna be, it's gonna, the outside of the house is gonna be freaking awesome. And then the inside, we are doing a way different theme than our house that we live in right now. I feel like our mind shifted. We were gonna go for more of like the grays and the blacks for our next one. We were home. gonna do a full white floor, tile yeah. floor. But we got set on this certain flooring right here. Should we pop, pop it up, up right picture? here? Yeah. This is like a tan flooring and we fell in love with it. We feel like it's homey, it's Christmassy, yeah. it's holiday, it's it's family. And I feel like ever since we did this tan accent wall, I don't know why, it just made me feel more homey. I love like the grays yeah. and stuff here. Like it's it's definitely another vibe for us. But we're definitely know. learning too much gray and white is too, too dull sometimes. Yeah, too dull. Too dull. You need color to pop color. it. And I feel like the flooring being the tan is going to be so beautiful. And it's going to make everything just feel more homey and warm. Yeah. You know, you just want to cozy in on a nice rainy day in Florida. Yeah. Your little home. Oh, yeah. Going off of that, inside walls are going to be kind of like white as well. Yeah. But we based our big accent wall and our countertops kind of golden marble, like tan marble type our of look. Our cabinets are white. Yes. And an on, we have another part of our cabinets where they're a different shade. They're like a, they're like a lightish gray. A light gray underneath the island. So the cabinets you're gonna see from the front, which is gonna have the dishwasher by the sink area, and the back where your feet are gonna kick, like right here, but you're the back about of the, the counter. Island. That's and what then, you're about. they're not gonna wrap around the sides because the countertop is gonna be on top, but then it's also, Going to waterfall all the way down. Basically, they put a countertop on the sides too. Yeah. It's just for style. It, it's it's beautiful though. It's so beautiful. So yeah, tans, whites, 
all the pretty, 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 prettiness. I'm really excited. silver kind of silver brush, kind. Nickel brush nickel for all yeah. of the like hardware, all, all the, the door stuff. The outside door handle is going to be black to match the door, but the inside is going to be like brush nickel. It's going to be so beautiful. So we're kind of going with that light theme, but it, like that homey tan vibe. Tan and vibe, I love yeah. tans. I oh really do. Oh my gosh. We fell in love with that. I feel like I never thought we would like that. And then this type of flooring is But I, I feel like us having a home like this, I'm really glad we got this gray mm -hmm. feeling out of the way because now we can excel our look. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, 100%. So now we know exactly what we want and what we like. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if we built this house back three years ago, we would have not have built something that we would feel in love with now oh no not not like it would be now because we would have had a whole different style and like i'm glad that we waited because actually having a home first of all you see stuff that you want in your next home and second of all you see things that you would change yeah and when it comes to colors and stuff so the next thing is um with selections i want to answer we have we picked a bunch of really pretty chandeliers that's lighting, going the floor lighting, here. Yes. the lighting is freaking stunning should guys. we tell them our lighting budget that it was uh, we're gonna tell you our lighting budget because this is lighting for the entire home. Now I know this, it, it honestly doesn't even sound like a lot when it comes to, this includes the fans, the all the lights throughout the Which whole Which our fans home. are so cool too. The bathroom lighting, chandelier in the kitchen, chandelier in the um, entryway. We got uh, oh, in our master chandelier in the master bedroom. We got lighting upstairs, all lighting upstairs. Going up our staircase. Outside lighting, okay, the pillar lighting outside, the soffit lighting, which is the spot underneath the roof that lights up the garage and everything, all lighting came to $8,000. Yeah. I don't know why I said it like that. 8,000, no, so $8,000 for the whole lighting package throughout the entire home, which I don't think is bad at all because- We went up like, a little bit though. I hope you feel like any home, I feel like this home would probably be like $6,000 with the lighting and that's to install everything. Y'all have to understand, this is like electric, lighting, yeah. the fixtures, the bulbs, whatever it is, the graceful chandeliers. It really, I'm glad with that price that it lit the entire home because- you, That's another yeah. question everyone's asking, like what was the cost of building? How much was it? I don't know if you wanna discuss that. I don't really want to discuss that to be completely honest. See, okay, but we'll I, transparent. I don't think we're gonna discuss that, at least not yet, because first of all, we don't even know because there's still like things that oh, yeah. are up up, like we don't know how much our staircase railing is gonna be, that that's gonna add on and this well, and that. So that's the one thing that we'll probably avoid because I really don't like talking about money. It's not a cheap home, but definitely like we, we've been saving and we've been uh, adding a lot of things that we know that we're gonna love this home for the next five or 10 too, years. Guys. Yeah. We did so many upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The upgrades oh definitely God. added a lot to the value as well oh. because you don't even realize like when you build a home. Oh yeah, the base model alone. Okay, wait. I'll tell you this. Okay. The home price. Can we say where it started at? We can say where it started at. Okay. So the home price. Now I'm gonna tell you this home that we're in right now is four hundred fifty thousand dollars. This home currently yeah. that we're in. It was three hundred fifty when we bought it. That's how much everything has been going up, which is yeah. crazy. It's awesome. Which is awesome for people that own homes, but obviously it sucks for people that don't because like, you know, they just get expensive, expensive. Mm -hmm. The base price of the home that we are building, I will say was $750,000. That's all I'm gonna say. That's the base price of the home. And that is where we started before any of the selections. Before that is literally if you wanted to build a home right there. And honestly, for what we are building, I feel like that's not bad at all. And I want y'all to know as well, the reason why I know it's a lot of money, I really do. But after you build a home and you go through the process, I don't know if you knew this, but like most of the time, if you're doing it in a good area, and what I mean by good area, high flow, very popular, people want to travel sure. there. It's a good area to yeah. just be in, you know? The home is actually gonna be worth more money after we're done building it than what we're- uh, Building it for. Building it for. So it definitely helped us mentally be like, okay, even though we're spending a lot of money, like it is gonna be worth more. So, it, you know, it, it's gonna be cheaper. And in the we long also run. did a lot of reconfiguring in the house. We did a lot of different selections, a lot of different upgrades. It obviously, yeah, it, it adds. Way and up. Honestly, like it could go down too if you wanted the bare minimum. But at the same time, like we wanted this home to, like I said, last five, this is gonna be our forever 10, home. 15, 20 years. Forever home. Well, this I'm just gonna is, say forever home for now. Like, honestly, Cause I don't, I can't see it getting anything different ever. This is how me and Bill feel. Cause that's actually a question you guys were asking. Is this gonna Let, be a yeah. forever home? Let's is move this, on to the next question. Yeah, is, is this, this gonna be a forever home? Yeah. Is this something you guys are gonna be in forever? I would say yes. I would say yes. Like 
anyone though. It's like you don't know where you're gonna be at in life and what's gonna happen. Because someone asked how much square foot is it too, which is gonna this is why I wanna talk about this with yeah. this question. How much square foot is it gonna be? It's gonna be three thousand three hundred or three thousand four hundred? It's gonna be right under three thousand four hundred square feet. Yeah. Which for us that is amazing because like starting a family, like you want a lot of square footage, you want a lot of space to be able to like, you know, have nursery, have family, have people stay over and like like I, like I said, have kids running around and have a lot of, a lot of extra space for all that. So it definitely ties in to the wanting it to be our forever home. Because I truthfully don't care to have like a 8,000 square foot home, like this big old mansion because at the end of the day, like mm. that's Dude, a lot of square foot to clean. If I had a five, 8,000 dollar- I feel like it's too big. Eight, Thousand square foot home. I would need a maid. That would be. I just. I would need like, to be like balling. Okay. I'd win the lottery. I'd need to be. I'd need to have a whole for, crew. No, for me, that doesn't feel as homey as something that's a little bit in the middle of big. But no, and sometimes like, like big homes like don't feel homey because they're so scary. Big. They're scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying I wouldn't be opposed to having one in the future, but like it definitely would be a different vibe. You never know where life's gonna go. You never know. But as of right now, it's gonna be a home at for a very long time. We plan to stay in for honestly, I hope forever, but we're you know, building it as happen. our forever home. Yes. We're building it as our forever home. Next question, someone asked how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, did you guys go with the second story home? So to answer that, yes, we went with the second story. Yes. It's gonna be freaking beautiful. Oh, oh my god, god I'm so wait. excited! I, I don't even know the exact square footage of the second story. I think it's like 800. Is it 800,000? I don't know. Something like that. But I'll, okay, so it's gonna be four bedrooms mm -hmm. and a bonus room, which can be a bedroom. Just five. So let's just say five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and an office. Oh, I forgot to mention the office. And the office can technically be turned into a bedroom. And every single bathroom has a shower. Yeah, so one, two, three, four bedrooms, an office, which makes five, and then three bathrooms. That's crazy. So four bedrooms, one office, or study, is that they call it, and three bathrooms, which- And we have a designated laundry room. Oh yeah, and we actually have a laundry room this time. Like oh. here, I, I, I love that what we have here, but it's just two doors that opens and there's no room to like actually do any laundry yeah, or do anything. So I'm glad sucks. that we're gonna have a room that we can put our clothes in, do the laundry, it's a, away from everything. Right now, our laundry is literally like, if we have any laundry out, it's just in the middle, middle of the hallway. Of, yeah, it and sucks. I hate that it's in the middle of everything. I am you gonna miss this house though. Travel through it, oh yeah. This that's, house is that like, should be the next question. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this house. Oh, and what are we doing with this so house? So much, so much, because I've put so much blood, sweat, yeah. and tears, literally blood, sweat, and tears. You guys remember. Into remodeling this house, accent walls, flooring, paint, lighting, everything, literally countertops. I didn't do the countertops, but the countertops is the only thing I didn't do. New sink, backsplash, cabinetry, walls, like so much, painting, everything, everything, all the literally. Walls painting everything. stuff, uh, redoing the outside stuff, like just making it a home. And I'm gonna miss it so much because like, we made so many memories here. We hit so many milestones here. We made so many videos for y'all here. And it's just gonna be sad, you know, getting our, our cats here, having that. The only good thing is, we are keeping this house though. So the Marvel house will live to see more and more years to come. Yes. We are gonna turn it into an investment property, so we will uh, we'll rent it out and uh, well, three we'll, homes. Yeah, after we'll, that. we'll we'll make it better and we'll give it a good experience for people yeah. and we'll keep it living longer. Okay. And also in the future, like like I said, worst case scenario, like. If we ever got to the point where we don't want like an investment property and this and that, we could always sell it and just put the money towards our kids and towards our other home and you know, you know, maybe a car or something. And yeah. you know, I like homes because we got this home. I don't know. I know I'm gonna bore y'all, but at a really good interest rate. So like our payment is like not bad at all for no, this it's home. So low. And. It's kind of like a bank. Like you, you hold your money in the principal. At, at at the same time, yes, you have to make your mortgage payments, but like all the principal that you put into the home, it stays there until you sell it. So it's mm -hmm. really like you, you know you're holding your money, and uh, it's always going to be there, depending on the home value, obviously. Okay, so we have our final two questions. We're going to answer for you guys. I seriously, I wish, feel like this has been good. I, I seriously like wish good. I could like talk more. I wish we could show you all the bl blueprints and stuff. Yeah, too. like I want to just talk about so much more, but like there's only so much we can say. I know. I know. Uh, but we're gonna be giving updates throughout. So make sure you're following us on Snapchat. I'm serious. That is where we post like everything on there. That's like, like our day to day, 100%. And I feel like we're, we'll definitely be giving you, starting in like two, three months, we'll be giving you weekly updates. Oh, on our YouTube. Our foundation's sure. in. Our house is up.
up, the bricks are up, the roof's yeah. on, like it's, oh my god, the walls are in, the paint's on, oh my god, so I cannot wait, the floor's in, you know? Yeah. But okay, so the next question is how big is the land? So how big is our oh, property? Yeah, that's a good question. So if you guys didn't know this, we bought our land and then we reached out to a building company to yeah. build on our land. So we bought the land, we found land that we liked basically. A location that we liked. A location that we liked, we bought the lot. So we own the lot right now, yeah. okay? There's no house on it. So then we reached out to a builder, got all that um, tied in with the land, and now they're gonna be building on our land. So that, that's basically like how we did it. A normal lot out here are not super big. We're like, you know, a super neighborhood city type of feel. It's, it's like not super city, okay? I'm just saying there's a lot of like land out here that are taken up by neighborhoods. So an average house is about a quarter of an acre. Our lot, I can't even believe that we got this in the, in the, in the high, awesome area yeah. is half an acre. So it's half an acre. I know that might not sound like a lot to a lot of people, but it's, it's huge out here, okay? We can drive a half hour down the road and buy five, 10 acres, for, okay, for the same price. But the thing is, then you're, then you're 45 minutes away from the beach. You know, we're literally five minutes from the beach. We're like, right, I'm Nine King. We're like such an, like- If I area. walk out onto the um, patio, and this is what I mean by like an awesome area, I can literally throw my phone far enough to hit the, the water, water. Yeah. which is the ocean, which is a, considered a river here, but it's, it's actually, you know, it's salt water. There's sharks in there, okay, it's an ocean. But yeah, I can literally hit it from there. And it's like, it's gonna be so cool being in that area because it's like, you know, it, it definitely feels like a place I want to raise a family. Oh, a hundred yeah. trillion percent. I'm so excited. That's like, that's another question too, is like, when are you guys going to start having kids? That's definitely going to be when we move into the house. Yeah, I would say let's do all that first and then, you know, <laughs> start thinking about that. But the last and final question, uh -oh. the question y'all are dying to know, and we're also dying to know, is when is the house going to be finished being oh, built? Oh yeah, we, did, we said when we were starting, but not when it was gonna be finished. Yeah, so we're gonna end the video talking about when it's gonna be finished. Okay. We are not 100% on a date yet. I would say though, if I could pick, it's gonna be 2025, I would say, and I would pick it being done towards fall, October, November. Back long? Well, you gotta think. I'm gonna shoot for sooner. I'm gonna say summer. May, June, July. I would say July, August. I'm gonna September. say summer. I would say, okay, no, I would say September. If I can guess, September of next year. September, October. That's my guess. Okay. I'm gonna. Just because I know. I know. Their average day build is 333 days. That's what our company has been averaging, which is amazing. Which and I, don't I think know it starts at permitting. I'm not for sure, but I know this house is a little different. So I, I would just say I'm just gonna give it a year from September. I feel like it's gonna be sooner. It could be sooner. Honestly, it say, probably will. But I'm, I'm uh, not gonna I'm get my good. hopes up and say, oh, it's gonna be done yeah. January. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm oh, gonna say, no. I'd rather be later than. than I said I'd summer. It's not later. That's a good time. Summer. Yeah. Perfect. Summer also cool. starts in like Mar April, right? You know what I just realized, May? babe? What? We're so worried about the hurricane season this year. Do you realize that? Yeah, it's gonna be almost done in the hurricane season. Yes, yeah, it's gonna yeah. hit. She just tweaks about hurricanes. It's really nothing like that. No, I know. I just I want the house built first. Right? We're good. We'll be fine. You know, it was just like you know, get our generator, get our windows boarded up, and we'll be fine. We actually don't need to get our windows boarded up. Oh yeah, our, that's okay. Windows. All the new houses down here are built with hurricane windows and impact resistant glass and doors. So we literally are going to be in a fortress. Yeah. And all the houses out here, if you did not know, are made out of cinder block, that thick. So, and there's concrete that's poured in the cinder block. Peace. So, and the roof is literally tied into the cinder block with rebar. So it, it's, we're literally gonna be in a fortress. All the houses down here, that's why they're also more money is because the building material is way more because they're built to literally withstand 200 plus mile an hour winds. Yeah. Which I would want if I lived in an area like this. I hope we answered all of your questions for right now. I Listen guys, I could talk to you for a whole hour about this. Oh yeah, there's so much I'm more. So our excited. kitchen, our pool, our bedroom, our bathroom, everything that we haven't yes, mentioned. Yes, we have a pool and a hot tub. We do have a pool, yeah, we already mentioned that though. Yeah. But uh, like I said, there's so much more that we could mention, but we will give you the scoop and the insight as this process rolls out. <laughs> and I'm just so Wait. excited for y'all to be a part of this whole journey and I hope this gave you a little like knowledge little man, little feel of like when timing wise we're gonna be ready for certain things. Yeah. So hopefully two months or less we get that ground broken and we, and start. we start building. Because I'm telling you right now we're gonna be there like every day. We're gonna go there every day after the gym. That's yeah. gonna be our routine. Gym see where they got done. See if they got lot. Done. Gym, yep. lot, gym, lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lot as in like our lot that yeah. we have. 
But we love you guys so much. Thank you so Thank much for watching for this video. Us. And we will see you in the next one. But until then, peace. peace. Love, love you guys. guys.